LI-12 tells you it's a brachial radialis motor point, so it's th this muscle, not bicep, but this muscle over here for radial flexion available. That's this muscle here. So this is a nerve point here. Large intestine 11 actually supplies extensor carpal radius longus, while large intestine 8 supplies extensor carpal radius brevis. And that's two different two different types of extension. One is a extension extension, one is more of a radial extension. It's a radial nerve, so you should be able to get everything down to that radial nerve can get. Okay, so you like the arms to be free for a reason, so you can see movements like that. And also, the, the wrist can possibly extend. Uh, so I don't want it to be in a position that makes it hard for me to see things. So those are the considerations behind the positioning. Um, so you can see what happened here, this radial flexion. So that was a combination. Obviously, the brachialis is around this area, so there'd be some flexion. Nothing to be excited about. But radial flexion is from brachioradialis, so that muscle is far more distal to this, right? So that means the nerve that had done that flexion. Um, and then I don't know if I saw any wrist or finger extension. Let's see. There we go, finger extension. Okay, so yeah, so this one turned out to be a really good demo. I got the wrist and fingers. One.